we have been organizing these trainings since 2019 uh, in and outside of Zimbabwe. Uh, not only on groundwater interventions, but also on community engagement, community empowerment, sustainability of the approach, as well as with the clear exit strategies for the humanitarian aid organizations. Speaking of this particular um, uh, training on borehole drilling supervision, uh, we have quite an interesting mix of participants uh, which are comprised of MSF field engineers uh, coming from various MSF projects who are, are going to start uh, operations linked to groundwater. We have done this exercise already for many years in Zimbabwe and we have the expertise. We have developed some toolkits and this will allow us well, the community to benefit from safe access to drinking water. Once we really are fully clear on the, what we're going to face as we will be drilling, then we have to design a proper borehole that fits with uh, our context. Now, one thing which is uh, a take home for me here in this uh, training is the innovative way in which it uh, was used to seal a contaminated aquifer, which was used due to the grouting method. For me, what is more important is the tools we are, we are getting. It's not the same reading a book than actually spend the time with, with people that have experience on it. I have learned a lot of skills on how to supervise borehole from the very beginning which starts with desk study that means collecting more information before you actually start the drilling exercise. We are training staff, we are training various stakeholders on them so these practices can be rolled out to bigger audiences as well by putting our beneficiaries at the center so they can get the best services out of humanitarian aid organization interventions in the region and beyond. And really putting these innovative practices into practice. Uh, so we're looking, looking forward to the acquired skills of the people that attended the training and actually work with them to really implement these things for the betterment of uh, Zimbabwe. This training uh, provides me uh, better knowledges, technical knowledges, theoretical knowledges, but uh, as well uh, how to implement it. I'm going to give feedback to my colleagues on how to do the proper center seal. We also have the participation at national level from the University of Zimbabwe. Uh, we are having a strong collaboration with them because we wanted to, to put the same techniques in the university curriculum as well as the field engineers coming out of the universities. This um, innovation of uh, sanitary seals, which resonates very well with our mantra as the University of Zimbabwe of our products and services will go a long way in terms of helping uh, alleviate uh, the water supply situation. Uh, the research that we have undertaken in partnership with the University of Zimbabwe have proved that sanitary sealing is effective in protecting bores from uh, bacteriological contamination. What we do is we train the communities in terms of uh, provision of clean water, in terms of reserving water, both at the water point and also in their homes. We are training them on, on community ownership. If they take care of this project, then it means it is, it's more sustainable, both they will appreciate it more.